Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. We are on the verge of another financial report, but we're in nice shape for it. We've got four more days on our upgrade. All good. And we are ready for another mission. So we've got Operation Purple stuff. A two and a half battle in the jungle. Let's see. Ooh. So we would lose a mech to bring a single heavy air asset. Could be interesting. The target acquisition here. Let's see, that's a three skull ambush combo. That could be tough. Everything else, battle, battle, blackout. Kind of like this idea. Kind of jumping back and forth between the two of these. There's more salvage here, but there's more money here. I mean, there, this is a really good payout. Question is, can we work the target acquisition? And I think the urban lord would hold us back too much. We're gonna. We're going to go with this one here. We're going to take the salvage, take the money. And let's, ooh, a warthog. Interesting. So, what are we going to drop for this? I think we're going to drop the 4N. And we're going to switch Ek and T-Bone here, and we're going to bring the Urban Lord. Because I want to bring the strength. Actually, we dropped the Raven. I'm going to let Orchid take a, take a little run on the Warthog there. And we're going to drop a little bit, uh, little bit stronger here. And we can bring the Raven back in the next one. Sounds good to me. There's one thing that I'm not really a big fan of. Is that when you take these missions with the vehicle asset, it takes a mech spot from you. Uh, it's kind of, you know, why doesn't it take a vehicle slot? It makes a little bit more sense that way, but we do what we can do, right? And what we need to do right now is build up a nice C bill balance on top of a balance of bits and pieces so that we can build our Orion. We can upgrade the Argo because one thing that we need to get our hands on is on top of the third mech bay is the junkyard leopard so we can start bringing more things to the battlefield because the more guns we have on the field the better we can do in the missions oh let's see what we have here all right looks like they are way the hell over there why they want us to drop here is kind of beyond me No, it looks like there is a lance there and a lance there. No, we're going to drop right in the middle of them. So there should be reinforcements over here on the left and the target lance over here 
on the right. Oh, what do we have? Hunchback, 5S, Saladin, a warrior and a cavalry. Then we've got an Ostwar. Hmm. That looked like a um, a mortar, a Halepolis. Interesting. Blackjack and a Thunderbolt. A right, little cough there, folks. All right. So we see turn fifteen, turn seventeen. We're going to reserve this. We're going to maintain our spawn protection. Let's see. Air to ground missiles. Spinal. Oh, a spinal mount. Heavy Gauss rifle. Wow. Um, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Definitely let these guys do their thing. And the question is, do we want to push on the right or do we want to push on the left first? And I think it depends on what we see and where. So we still have turn 15 as well as future... But I think we want to focus uh, side by side. Keep reserving. We want to get that Thunderbolt going. All right, here we go. T-Bone. Um, does he have a dead spawn? I think he might. Either that or he's not supposed to be going yet. I think he's got a dead spawn. Not good. Alright, what do we have? Pretty decent chance there. I think we're going to go for the Tag Cavalry. What can I do for you? Yeah, he, uh, dead spawn. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, we're going to reserve him. I think he might be a little bugged. Let's see what we can do over here. LBX20 needs to get off the board. All right. No hits there. Ooh. All right. So we've got Chaff, a double AMS Flare. And air-to-ground missiles. Okay. So how many shots with this uh, this HGR do we have? So accuracy is based on evasion. Every, everything's based on evasion. So... The more evasion that we have, the lower, the more recoil we get, the lower our hit chances. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so, yeah, that was good.
And this, oh, the Saladin's got an Ultra 20. Ooh, we got, we got a, we got a lot of ouch on the board right now. And we need to take it off the board. All right, let's try to finish off the hunchback here. All right. Now we hit our buddy. Okay, he's down to two health. Yeah, this is not good. T-Bone's got a bad sp I don't know what's up with it. Not hitting anything worthwhile there. All right. So the Hunchback is in turn one, the Saladin's in turn 16, and we have a lot of stuff beforehand. No, we don't. We just have, all we have is Kraken here. That was a big hit. Oh, that's the air to ground missile rack. Ooh. We really need to take out this Saladin as well. That was not a big deal. This appears to be our best shot against the Saladin. Well, we have his sensors impaired, which is good. But unfortunately, we split the damage there. And he ran. I hear ya. He ran. I think we're hitting refire penalties here. Or not. Yeah, we are hitting refire penalties here. He's just on the ground. Uh, we're going to hold off on that and we'll just fire the air to ground missiles. Which didn't fire couple of heavy auto cannons there all right let's get shade running around try to get rid of this guy nice gyro crit T-Bone. What does T-Bone have? Alright, T-Bone can go for the warrior. He's probably going to get himself trashed. Looked like a 
Thunderbolt coming in over there. All right, let's move for two here and hopefully finish off the Hunchback. Let's go. All right, Ed's down. It's a little unfortunate we trashed the AC-20 there. Would have actually been an interesting option. Fortunately, T-Bone has good AMS. All right, Paradox. All right, you, we want your right side, which we can't get to. Yes, we, oh, we can get to it. Let's go for it. Let's try to do a little damage. He's panicked, which is good. Ooh, Warthog has Harshall. I see you, buddy. Alright, T-Bone. Alright, T-Bone actually getting some work done. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's see. Machine guns. Typical Thunderbolt. Blackjack. So this is a periphery blackjack, a couple of medium rifles, double SRM4, two mediums, LRM20, and the Halepolis, oh, the Howitzer 2000. That's the artillery that was coming in from that side. Hitting the air to ground missiles there. And we cannot actually get to a point where we see the Saladin. But we're going to take a shot at the helicopter. Double hits. Good to see. Uh, they're going to go after T-Bone there. And Paradox, hopefully, will finish off the salad in here. If not, Shade's going to follow up. All we need are a couple of hits. And we're going to take the chance of hot loading the LRM-15 here. Right through his armor. Unfortunately, no misfire. Or fortunately, no fish misfire. But unfortunately, we missed... Wrong button. Yeah, that was the Halepolis hitting the Hunchback. We need to get some target diversity over here. Wow. That was bad. Okay, Orchid. We're going to turn 13. This is all we have right now. Okay. Alright, this is where we go. We got shot with the HGR let's and let's drop chaff as well see if we can't disrupt our buddy over here nice what, 
Unfortunately, we only hit the arm there. All right, we're going to move a little bit here and see if we can't get enough just to splash on that far side. We need one missile to connect, which we don't get. All right, good. They've taken the Warthog as a target, target now. We've got AMS. We've got... All right, he got the big hit in. All right, turn 22 is the helicopter. And what do you have going on here over here? Well, he's out of ATGMs, which is good. That's his big damage. But he's still got the tag in the LRM-10. So I expect him to probably work his way in this direction. Hit nothing. All right. T-bone. Hit chances. You don't have much over here. We actually want to move and show his left side this time. The light bliss is nice and hot. All right, Kraken. Turn 16. This needs to be a frontal shot here. I don't want that AC-20 to fire again. All right, he's gone. I would have preferred to use one of the two tanks to flank him, take him through the super low structure area. Unfortunately, neither one of them had the initiative to get it done. Artemis, and let's take our good hit chance on the Holapolis. Let's go. Or actually, this is the Ostwar. Nice. Ripped him up. Good, good. I like this. They're ignoring the Hunchback. And we got a nice back strike against the Chopper. Let's go. Okay, one hit. I see you, buddy. Shade can also do his thing. I don't think we hot load here, though. I don't think it's worth the risk at this point. All right, Orchid. I like our hit chances here. I do like our hit chances here a lot. Let's go. Oh, missed completely. I think the next one we're actually going to. Well, we'll check the uh, the hit chances on it first. All right, helicopter, what are you up to? I'm thinking about moving 
using the Hunchback to take it out. We have to see what kind of hit chances we get on the uh, the original target here, and what that's going to take. As because we can't, obviously, we're not going first. So the tag helicopter gets to do his thing. But he also doesn't have much in the way of armor or anything else left. I do believe I like what I see here. So Kraken's going to engage across the river now. And let's go. One hit. Nice that he lost evasive there. Fortunately, no one wants to move close enough so that we can do anything other than shoot that ER medium laser. Alright, move for two. Roger. And hopefully this will do it. Not quite. They're not getting anything done over there. Good to go. Can I get the spot that I want? There we go. Nice high hit chance on the Thunderbolt. Here we go. Boom. Alright. Ekmadude. What's your follow up here? I believe you're following up on the Ostwar. Very much so. All right, torso down. I think things are going. Let me go. Don't you? Helipolis is still super hot. I'm surprised he uh, he hasn't shut down yet. He's got to be he's got to be pushing it right now. All right, Paradise, can you finish this darn thing off? If these guys could manage to cluster their shots instead of spreading them everywhere, we might have done that a little bit faster. All right, not bad. They're, they're still going hard for that Warthog and just not doing well at all. Hey, we get to fire more than just one thing here. Let's go. Nice crit. Uh, Kraken, can you get a good line of sight on the Oswar? No, you can't. I also don't like this engagement side here. Blackjack is fresh. So is the Halepolis, and that's the ballistic side. We're going to go for the Thunderbolt here. It just makes the most sense. Alright, Paradox. Little bit of LRM fire from a long range. Commander. 
there we go. This is where we want Ek because this is where he gets to follow up on the Ostwar from the proper angle and should be able to take him down. There he goes. All right. There he goes. There's the whole Aphelis shut down. And blown up. Hey, if they want to help like that, I'll take it. I got no problem with that. That's one less mech that uh, I have to shoot through all of his armor. Well, that uh, that did a little bit, actually. Periphery rifles, or the, the medium rifles, missing completely there. All right, Orchid. Is stand and shoot here? Uh, offensive push here? No, let's just stand and shoot. Nice damage. Got this guy thoroughly cracked right now. Very little left on his center torso. But I believe that it's going to be hunchy time on the blackjack. Actually, it could very well be the thunderbolt here. Much better hit chance. We're going to go blackjack. little bit of a turn there get the shot out who is next shade all right shade getting into direct line of sight again good nice mobility there artemis coming back online Now we're going to go for the Thunderbolt here. It's just a significantly better hit chance. Dude, can you hit anything? Not that, you know, it really bothers me all that much, but, you know. Can you hit anything? Alright, so we're going to have Orchid well before we have the Thunderbolt. Let's see if we can't just take him out, and we can. That way she can go after the little guy. Alright, let's prime him up. And here we go. And now, well, only 59% here. Hey, it's basically a 50 50 shot. Let's take it. Oh, we missed. With everybody else available right now, I think we can actually just go after him hard and not worry about not firing the heavy gauss. Alright, bringing it in. Here we go. Nice. What can I do for you? Seventy one percent here. 
could buy. Now, Ek can get in there and probably finish the job. Yeah, that was solid hit. There goes his gyro. There goes his cool. He's on the ground. Are you even going to stick around, buddy? Let's see what we get out of this. We got engine destruction. Very good. All right. Nice, pretty easy mission. That Warthog was fun. I wouldn't mind one of those. I would definitely bring that to the battlefield. A heavy Gauss? And the air-to-ground missiles, those are actually pretty effective. They seem to have streak... Um, characteristics in that you need to get the lock on to fire but that's those are solid damage 60 each that's pretty good all right and damage is fairly minor all things considered let's see there is some nice stuff on the board thunderbolts i don't know if we want a howitzer ultra there's the ultra 20 bc ballistic and recoil those are really good to have we have the fire control system double sensors singles we've got two bins of caseless ultra 20 ammo here so each one is 10 shots it gives us 10 double shots. Where is... And there's the Ultra 20. That's a... That's a nice, chunky... And we got the BC Ballistic and the BC Recoil helping us to actually run the Ultra. It's got four recoil. So this is plus one accuracy. And this is minus one recoil. Oh, we definitely need that to run this. Let's go. Nice. So we get Halepolis, Ostwar, Blackjack, Saladin. That's a, yeah, that's the Mark II Saladin. Yeah, it's light, poorly suited to direct combat, but it's got an Ultra 20 on it. Medium laser aggro. These are minus one accuracy, so we do not want to hold on to those. Core 105 can go, primitive can go, standard can go, jump jets can go, basics, cooling. And we did get a bit of the LBX-20. Nice to have. And a double heat sink. Good salvage there. Just flat out good salvage. I like that. Just puts us in a good spot. How's our... I don't think our repairs will be too major either since we re we did take a big hit on the tanks but the tanks are basically really easy as long as we don't lose it easy fixes and for all that we couldn't generate evasion on the one hunchback didn't take much damage it was all armor nothing internal nothing crit I actually got very lucky with that. Yeah. Seven days and 25,000. Super easy. So we're going to bring the Orion all the way to the front. The 4end and the 4x and the Urban Lord at the end. Looks good. Oh, we're going to check out the financial report. We're going to have our training module 2 up very shortly. All right, we've got about 400,000 sitting here. Not bad. All right, we got the training module 2 is ready to go. The Orion is almost done. All right, let's take a look at it. 
What do we need to make this guy work? Let's see. First, we need a core. We're going to need upgrades. Oh, we got to put the core in first. So let's say we put the 300 in here. Now, 300 gives us 4 and 6, which is really not great. XL upgrade. Now, we're, we're already looking at 1.5, 1.6 mil. And then we can go Clan Pharaoh, Clan Endo. And then we're going to drop the AC-10. For the Ultra-20. Now, let's look at Recon Sensor. So let's see the clan advanced is minus 10 jam offensive push accuracy plus 2 the mark 2 is evasion pips ignore plus 1 gunnery so we're going to go here and that I mean we could go with the ballistic plus 1 but that keeps us from using these guys. So we get the ballistic and we get the recoil. So we get the extra accuracy, we get the minus recoil, and I, I like the evasion pips ignored here, plus the gunnery. Helps us with our um, our management of the recoil and the jam chance here. Cockpit uh, let's see, SLDF gives us piloting and tactics, DNI, um, DNI gives us extra gunnery, extra initiative, extra evasion, extra piloting as well. All good things for us. We got piloting support B as well, which is actually pretty interesting here. Now the 300 core is really kind of on the edge for us. We only have single heat sink cooling here. And our heat efficiency is not good. It's actually not good at all. Now we need ammo. So we get the two bins of Ultra 20. And then let's see, what's our range here? Range is 210 420. And the only MMLs we have are fives, which really is not very efficient. We do have two Thunderbolt fives, though. These are interesting. We drop two of these in here. That'll give us some range options. And we do have Thunderbolt ammo. We've got two high explosive and one kinetic kill. So we, let's see, these are 12 shots each. And we can throw the kinetic kill in here. And then, uh, We only have seven heat sinks. We 
which is definitely not enough. Now we have the tonnage from more in here. We're looking at 2 million Seabills, 15 days. I don't think this can work with a 300 core. But what we are going to do is, I think we're going to drop this guy down. And that's going to give us... No, he doesn't have cooling. Is it the Raven? No. Defensive Gyro here, though. To make the 300 core work, We need more than what we have. We actually, what we need is we need a better core. Now we could improve the four N here. I'm thinking about what we have to do here. What do we need to add? What do we want to add? It's 360 and 720. We could do the LBX, which is much less heat than the Ultra 20. I think what we want to do right now is let's get the core in maybe no we're not going to touch the Orion right now we don't have anything that makes sense we are going to drop down the Anubis we're going to keep the Raven for now We're going to get everything out of Build Hawk, and we're going to get ourselves into a new mission, I think. I actually want to look at the 4N. I don't like the mobility here. And what I'm thinking is... Can we make the XL happen? We can. We can absolutely make the XL happen here. And if we switch out the core for the 300, we still have three tons to work with. We get up to six and nine, which is really good for this. I think we can pull the proto heat sink kit off of here. We might be able to do this with single heat sink. No. And we don't have double heat sink cooling right now. But we can get more SRM ammo. So we're going to get a double bin of SRM ammo going on here. Uh, no, we don't get a double bin of SRM ammo going on here because we don't have slots. Which means we go with the Clan Endo, which is a million. Gives us five tons to work with. All right. Here we go. We go into the ammo. SRM. 
we're going to take a half a ton of acid, half a ton of dead fire, a ton of tandem. We're going to move the ER medium laser out of here. We're going to get a ton of... Now, we only have a ton and a half of Artemis, actually. I don't think that's worth it. We're just going to go with the double bin here. And we want a better uh, fire control system. And we have a Predator. We still have heat to work with, actually. And we have a ton to work with. And we have, let's see, heat efficiency is 41, which we're going to slap the medium laser in the head and we're going to put an X pulse. Oh, uh, no, X pulse is two tons. Drop the medium laser here. Let's put this one here, this one here, and we'll leave the ammo in the arm by itself. So we're moving a lot better. It's cost us cost us a bit. Alpha Strike, we're actually still very good as far as efficiency of um, heat heat efficiency here. Now, any is there anything else that we can really put in here that makes a lot of sense? DNI cockpit. The DNI cockpit will actually take good advantage of our extra movement, giving us extra evasion. We can take the piloting support also. There we go. It makes just a lot more sense. So we're going to do this. We're going to take the eight days. Since we can't build the Orion right now, we're going to maximize the mechs that we do have. So we're just going to upgrade the Hunchback to a point where it becomes much more combat effective. The X-Ball is really nice. We get the extra accuracy, ignore evasion, and we also have a lot more damage than we do in the mediums and the ER mediums. So we're losing the small lasers, which we really, it, we had a tough time bringing into range. And we're drop, going to drop one medium laser, but we're coming up with an X-Pulse, which actually gives us an extra 20. We have the toolkit ammo with the tandem, helps with the tanks, a little bit of dead fire, a little bit of acid, always nice to have. And we've so right now we've got plenty of ammo. And I think we're going to leave it off there. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, sub it. Smash that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.